Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa, also known as Green Eye Phoenix Goddess here on YouTube. I am a Pisces, but I love all signs. I love everybody. I deal with all signs, but I think you'll find guys as a Pisces, I try to do lots of different things here on my channel. So please stay tuned to all of the amazing things coming. I do member perk memberships. Um, I have my website. I do personal readings. I do all kinds of amazing stuff. I also have subscription boxes that you can sign up for. So I have lots of fun different things that I do on my channel. So I really hope that you'll look around and that you'll join the family and that you'll subscribe. So don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. And to all my returning subscribers, you guys know how much I love and appreciate you so much. Guys, as you know, these readings are always very general, so anything that is pertaining to your particular energy, please, anything that is pertaining to my channel will always be linked down below. How to book personal readings with me, how to donate to my channel, how to follow me on Instagram and Facebook, any type of sales or deals or anything, everything will always be linked down below in regards to my channel. So, with all that being said, guys, let's get into the video. All right. Hey, Scorpios. Hi, Scorpios. Welcome to your love reading for March 2021. Okay, Scorpios. So, let's get into it because there's a couple different things going on here. Now, there are some of you who are dealing with somebody that you have a very, 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 very strong connection with, right? But that it's kind of like in in turmoil like there's chaos there's fights drama right shit like that for some of you it's a third party um because integrity is popping up here so it's kind of like does the situation align with like your morals and your values and stuff like that not according to anybody or what society thinks it's just about what you feel and how you feel scorpio so there's no judgment here um I, it's just it's just something i was picking up on so for some of you it is a third party and you're thinking about whether or not you know you want to continue with this you're thinking about whether or not this is something that really fits, you know, within your within your life. Like, can you continue doing this, right? For others of you, it's just a really, really strong connection that you have with somebody that you can't seem to break. But for some reason, these this person, you guys keep triggering each other. You kind of are through that, um, you're through that phase in your connection where it's just like you're bringing out the best and worst of each other, and you're having a hard time kind of like getting through that. And so that's for some of you. And then for some of you. You have somebody that is kind of like in your life that you feel is like reliable and stuff like that. That's kind of like more like friendly, but this could lead to more. All right. So there's a couple different scenarios that I've been picking up here for different energies. So again, these are always very general. Now, somebody wants to give you an offer. Okay. Like um, somebody wants to give you an offer. Like I said, it's somebody that really is like a, like more of like a friendly person. Like I think that it's somebody maybe in your life that for some of you, like I said, this is the, whoever that resonates with. The friendship one is for the people who do have somebody in their life that is trying to give them kind of like a little bit of an eye, but because of your hurt and your pain and you're being closed off, you're not really seeing this person as such, but there is somebody in some of your lives that is like a friendship that could lead to more. And this person is willing to give you um, an amazing offer. All right. Like they're willing to give you an amazing offer. All right. That's for, that's for some of you. That's for some of you. And that offer is going to lead to that abundance. You know, it's going to lead to somebody that's going to really be there for you. They're going to give you that structure. That's going to, you know, they're going to give you that foundation. Okay. Now for those of you, like your tarot message for the month is basically like being unable or unwilling to make a decision about something, right? Coming to a stalemate, pretending that there's no problem. Like some of you don't want to deal with the fact that this person that you feel this connection with maybe just is not a person that belongs in your life at this moment in time. That's really hard to hear. And it's really hard to deal with but it is what it is, all right? This person is bringing too much chaos into your life. They're quite, they're they're making you question your integrity and your morals, all right? Are they a twin flame connection? And are you guys mirroring each other? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a twin flame. It's a very strong, very, 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 very intense connection, okay? And you guys do mirror each other, okay? You do. But you guys also have to remember that the chaos, it, it just, it shouldn't continue that way. You know, somebody has to finally cave in and want to be able to become spiritually and, and awakened, you know, in order to start taking the steps so that you guys can have a, a beautiful union. Because what happens is people need to do work. Once you start to bring out the best and worst of each other, people need to do their work, you know? So some of you actually are going within and gaining that wisdom and that spiritual awakening, knowing that you want to be your best self because you want this union with this person. So some of you are trying to do this work and manifest this person back into your life in the proper way which is great 
But remember that you have to let the connection go. You have to be strong enough to just let it go, all right? Winter will be significant for a lot of you. Um, it's significant for most of you that I'm sensing are the ones that are going to become in separation with your person. It's almost like if once you let them go, it's that expression is if you love something, let it go. If it comes back to you, it was yours. If not, it wasn't ever meant to be, right? Either way, you have your answer, okay, Scorpios? Either way, you have your answer. Then you can finally move on with your life, okay? You can finally come into that awakening for those of you who are not there yet. But for those of you who that is resonating for, some of you do have, like I said, that very, very strong attraction to somebody that you want in your life forever, but they're not ready yet, you know, and vice versa. Like I said, put the energy where it belongs, but you're ready, they're not, you know, and it's like you're finally going through your awakening, but they're not ready. So it's like one of those things where you guys cannot come into union unless you're both at the very same place. You both have to have gone through your own thing in order to be able to combine back together. So keep that in mind, okay? And um, for those of you who actually are becoming, you know, more like spiritually like awakened and actually dealing with your stuff, there you are going to get that person to come back and that person will be changed. That's for a small percentage of you. You're, a small percentage of you, your person has done the work, you have done the work, and eventually you will be coming into union. And that's where I feel like the winter is going to be very significant. So just be mindful of that. You know, obviously you guys will have to keep me posted. And like I said, there's a bunch of different energies and stories that are going on here. But that's what I'm picking up for March of 2021 for you guys, Scorpio, okay? So I honestly really wish you the best of luck with this. I really am so excited to see those of you who have done the work really come in and get presented that amazing offer that you um, deserve, okay? And then for those of you who are doing the work and are really learning, I'm proud of you too. You're getting there, you know? You eventually will get to the point where you learn your lesson and you finally will come into your abundance and get your special person. And for those of you, it will be your twin flame. And for those of you, it won't, but... It is what it is, right? Sometimes in this lifetime, sometimes not. So I wish you guys the best of luck with this. This has been your reading. I love you guys so much and I will see you next month. Bye.